hooked up with a show with the queers, so we got to open for them. And uh, that was just beyond awesome. It was definitely one of the defining moments of my, uh, my playing in bands. And now, as far as like networking, do you guys try and keep up a general conversation with people, places that you played, or do you find that they just kind of keep up with you? Do you have to beg, a, I guess, beg a lot for shows, or is it kind of? It, it hey. doesn't hurt. I mean, uh, you know, it's. I mean, there are people that'll keep up with you if they like what you do and if you know you impress them enough. But it's definitely on the band to keep up <laughs> with the people just as much and to say, you know, oh, you said you liked this. Well, you know, we want to come back and you help us out with uh, finding a show or do you know a you know, band, you know a venue, somebody we can contact. So I mean, it definitely doesn't hurt to, for us to keep up with people on our end. We're going to try to do that as much as possible. Now, do you guys use any of the like, music sites online where you can upload like reverberation or anything like that? Is that yeah. Do you find that that's actually effective for you and that you Very get effective. more yeah. people to listen? Yeah, reverberation is a really good yeah. website. Reverberation is great, especially for networking with bands and venues. Um, not so much with you know fans per se, but you know, it's, it's really good for, for some bands and venues and stuff like that because it's easy to contact, it's easy to get in touch with people through there, and plus you have your stuff up so they can see it. Facebook. Yeah. We have our you mighty know, Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> oh yeah, you can't, you know, you, you can't discredit what, what Facebook does for helping uh, for helping out bands. Um, it's definitely, you know, things like Facebook have made it a lot easier for bands to get themselves out there and, you know, people they can actually do it actually hear them and kind of know what's going on and be able to follow them a lot easier than, you know, people could back in the old days when the most you had was to get on somebody's mailing list, you know, and hope you got a letter in the mail, you know, let you know when they're coming to town. Yeah. Uh, it's also uh, easier to interact on Facebook now with your fans because you can uh, you can post and comment on uh, people's updates and such uh, as as your band, as the Lester Banks. Mm -hmm. And, uh, it's kind of, it gets kind of confusing sometimes because we don't know who, who posted what, <laughs> but it's, it's 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 fun. It makes it more fun that way. Yeah, and people and people actually wonder and like send us messages asking which one of us posted whatever. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So there's an actual interaction that you guys yeah. have managed to to spring up. Oh yeah. <clears throat> um, now for newer bands that are coming out or just you know any side projects you guys happen to have, what advice would you give them to try and get out? Gotta, you just got to hustle your ass off. Door to door um, talk to her. Like, when you go to a show, find out who, if the person that books the shows is there, go talk to them. Go talk to the bands. Make friends with anybody you can make friends with. Uh, you know, if you can get something recorded, the faster the better, because when people can hear you, they're more likely to book you, so they actually know what to expect. Um, but, you know, you can't, also you can't just rely on, like, on Facebook. You know, you got to go out, put up flyers, talk to people, whatever you can do, do it. And uh, as far as upcoming events or anything like that, are you guys recording anything? Have recordings that people can access? Or what's going on with you in the future? Um, well, we uh, do have recordings right now. We're hoping to do some more as soon as we can, just so we can have as much for people to have access to as possible. We have uh, seven songs right now uh, up online. You can get them on our Facebook, on our Reverb Nation. You can download them for free. Uh, they recorded over two days with uh, two different people recording this. And, uh, they both came out pretty well, so you know, hopefully people will like them. Yeah, we're gonna try to keep popping them out as we go along, so we can just try to you know keep all of our songs. Yeah, uh, some catalog. Got some, got some shows lined up in Myrtle Beach, Halloween weekend on the strip. Oh yeah, and playing yeah. Up in Charlotte, and then back in. We're uh, yeah, we're somewhere. in Myrtle Beach on the 29th. We're in Charlotte on November the 11th with uh, Stu City Pete and Self Made Monsters and Lost in Society. We are uh, back in Rock Hill on November the 26th with uh, 25 Minutes to Go, Ivan the Terribles, Motel Glory, and uh, Secret Hospital. And then we're at the Money again on the 23rd for the Punk Rock Christmas Show. So we're just popping out shows and recordings like Catholic Babies. Yeah, and uh, <clears throat> the, 20, the 29th of October, the Halloween weekend, uh, we're playing with this band uh, this hip hop uh, electronic band um, called Grand Prize Winners from last year. Mm -hmm. they pretty much got thrown out. Apparently they uh, <laughs> apparently they've been like written up, written about uh, in the Rolling Stone magazine and stuff. So that's pretty neat. Yeah, that's pretty cool. cool. It's gonna be a good experience. Great. Hopefully we'll find another place to stay where we can build a fort. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you guys again for talking to us. 
And I've been Anna Wright for the Geek Spotting Network. And with the worst damn thing that you've ever seen. And with the mayor of King Feeding, we'll come to society with the mayor of King Feeding for the whole damn world to see. Yeah. Subscribe to the Boys Plus Pod. Keep the right sound on record that you're looking for. And uh, but again, in the meantime, people can listen to what we've got, and hopefully they like it. I like it. So you guys have to be able to listen to this too. Mm-hmm. Is this on Facebook or? Yeah, you know, on Facebook or on Reverb Nation. Uh, it's completely free to download. So go take it, listen to it. Hopefully you'll like it. Oh, well. <laughs> Raquel is going into chaos. <laughs> <laughs> Zombie apocalypse breaks yeah. out during oh, Buster Bang. That would make a great interview. <laughs> <laughs> We're right in the middle of the that. zombie apocalypse that started in Rock Hill. Can you make a, an interview like this? Can you just have like just sit in downtown Rock Hill? Zombies, like, coming, like, just like, like ca- casually like, fighting them off. Just it's just be like, and yeah, we're up in the studio, and <laughs> <laughs> you just like load a rocket. <laughs> You've just been Lester Bang. <laughs>